My name is John Terrell. I'm the planning official for the city of Moreno Valley. Um, with me here tonight is uh, Peter Benzivi, who is the applicant for this project, as well as Barry Foster, who's the city's community and economic development director. The uh, purpose of tonight's meeting is the very first step in the public review of this proposed project, the World Logistics Center. I'll hand it over in a minute for the applicant to provide a brief description of his proposal. At this point in time, the formal application for the project has not been submitted, but we anticipate that any day now. So we wanted to kick off the environmental because that's usually a longer time frame. Under state law, when uh, a project of this size comes in, we review it and uh, determine whether or not an environmental impact report is required. Due to the size of this project, an environmental impact report is required. This scoping meeting is for you all to tell us the issues that should be addressed in the environmental impact report. That's the sole reason for the meeting tonight. Tonight's meeting is not to determine whether you're for or against the project. That will come later. Um, after tonight, uh, the environmental consultant will uh, prepare the draft environmental impact report. That will become a public document and there'll be a period of time to, uh, for the public to review and comment on the actual uh, study of the impacts that have been identified. Subsequent to that, then there will be a uh, response to all those comments in what's called the final environmental impact report. And that impact, that report will be reviewed in the context of public hearings before the Planning Commission and the City Council. The Planning Commission will make a recommendation on the project and the environmental, and the City Council will make a final determination on the environmental and the project. So this is very early in the process. Uh, if you're interested in getting all our notices, uh, if you're a property owner either within or close to the project, you'll automatically get future notices. But if you live someplace else in town or outside of town and you'd like to be on our <coughs> mailing list for this project, be sure and fill out one of the green slips and give us your <coughs> name and address so we can send you notices. With that, I'm going to hand it over to the applicant for a brief uh, discussion of the proposal. Okay, good evening, everybody. I'm Ido Benzivi, the uh, President and CEO of Highland Fairview, the applicant for the project. And I'm here to give you a very brief description of what the project is about. Some of you may have seen the city's presentation a while uh, back. They actually uh, produced a a, a video which uh, I've seen and uh, I thought was uh, well done in describing what the project is all about. But essentially, before I describe the specifics, I, I want to essentially give you the context under which we have developed this, this proposal and submitted it now uh, to the city for review. For shortly, the, the entire submittal package will come in. And it is the city's economic development strategy which we try to be responsive to. It is clear to a lot of us who have been here for many, many years that we had plenty of housing for a long time, but not enough jobs, which essentially forces the vast majority of people in Moreno Valley to commute out of town uh, to seek jobs and employment. And we also know that the number one thing we all suffer from in Southern California that's really responsible for the greenhouse gas, the traffic, the congestion, and all and a whole slew of environmental and social issues is the disparity of jobs to housing. If everybody had jobs in the city where they live, there wouldn't be so much congestion on the freeway because you won't have to go between towns just for a job and come back home. If you're not commuting as much, you're not polluting as much, you're not sitting on the freeway uh, producing greenhouse gases, which then cause uh, global warming and potentially droughts and other issues, ailments that we all suffer from. And lastly, it's just simply uh, our social condition. We live in a city that in the daytime, most everybody is gone and they come back late at night or leave out early in the morning. And that's not sustainable. This is not the quality of, of life we all have been uh, seeking. And so the city has developed an economic development strategy that uh, we have looked at. And we also were uh, looking at to see 
in a development, economic development strategy to see whether or not it was responsive to the real market. Because we've seen over many, many years, there's a lot of ideas that come about and never materialize because they're not relevant to the market. They're not responsive to the real market, to the workforce, and the two opportunities we have. One of those opportunities, which is the context of this project, is we know that, that the world has really changed in how business is done. In the last few years, it's become clear that international trade is the engine of the global economy, that logistics and the ability to produce goods, move goods around, procure components, has become paramount to any industry. In fact, some of our biggest companies are really logistics companies in the border definition. Uh, some of you may have iPhones. And if you ask, uh, how many iPhones does Apple make? Well, the reality is they don't make any. Uh, a lot of them are made all over the world, but even if you break those pieces, the phone apart, you see pieces made in uh, all places around the world. Uh, any, any item you have anymore today, you crack open your laptop, you see a chip made in Taiwan, a hard drive made in China, the screen may be made in Japan, and uh, the sound card made in, in Taiwan, something made in Malaysia, all assembled in China, and finally delivered to a customer. So the issue of logistics has become paramount in any industry today, and it's become a driving force in our economy, and in the Inland Empire, a major industry for all of us. And so out here in Moreno Valley, in our region, we have a lot of very qualified people. Uh, they work in that industry. They can be responsive for the opportunity. And so we developed a plan that we call the World Logistics Center. In terms of where it's located, it's located east of Redlands Boulevard, south of the 60 freeway. Uh, the, west, the eastern boundary is Gilman Spring Road, and the southern boundary is uh, approximately where state fish and game property is. And so it encompasses a large area. It's about 3,800 3, acres altogether. And we'll produce uh, approximately 42 million square feet of uh, logistic copper type buildings. Some of you may be familiar with the Sketcher building uh, that's out in the East End off of Theodore. This is the type of buildings that the World Logistics Center will be made out of. These are considered high cube uh, logistic warehouse buildings that uh, essentially will be not just the majority, but essentially will be the core and the definition of this project. It is entirely dedicated to be a world-class logistics center. And so this is, in a nutshell, sort of an overview, a, a simple uh, briefing on what the project is. And I'd be happy to answer some questions, but if uh, you think I need to elaborate, then I'm happy to. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Benzivi.